when we are learning about numbers we compare big number small number is it it now in numbers we must also learn some signs okay now when i say number you have five sweets you have five sweets both are five both are happy equal the five sweets and five sweets both are equal so we have a sign for that what sign is that we have different signs when we say equal we use a sign like this equal i gave you five chocolates i gave her five chocolates so we call this particular sign equal so we are comparing okay so now this is a particular sign we use when equal now sometimes you get 5 marks and another child get 3 marks we are comparing numbers big small or small big when you say 5 she got 5 marks she got only 3 marks 5 you use a sign called greater okay there is something called greater sign less sign when we compare numbers there is something called greater when you say the greater sign you put it like this but it will point towards the number less number the big number that means this sign what we need to learn is this particular sign if i put 2 here and 5 here which means the greater number greater sign always points towards a small number greater than it's called there is another sign that we call it greater than we call it another one we say less than greater than less than the less than is always a reverse and it is like this reverse that means when we do the numbers you will learn in this sign in this sign when you say less than the number all you need to do is the number where is it pointing to now this as we do i will explain here this is easy when you say equal to i give you five marbles i give your friend five marbles then what is the sign now i have seven apples and your you have seven apples i have three marbles and you also have three marbles i have 12 boxes of chocolates and you also have 12 box of chocolate suppose i have 23 ice cream sticks and then you also have collected 23 ice cream in this regard now i put a box in between for us to understand what is equal now both of us have collected the correct number now in this case the sign we use here is equal 5 and 5 equal same same equal to it's called equal to same same okay now we are looking at what is called greater than less than we're talking about greater than and less than okay now i have uh i have let's say <clears throat> nine beautiful parrots in my house okay and my neighbor has or my friend has three parrots what is huh? then i have uh, let's say 
12 color pencil and she has only 7 color pencils. Then we can say I have 29 trees in my house and my neighbor has only 13 trees. There are 36 marbles in my box. My friend has got only 16 marbles. I have in my house lovely little bird that come and visit me. There are about 70 birds that visit, 72 birds that keep visiting me and my neighbors say there's a mango tree and there are only 31 coming there. Now, we are comparing numbers. What are we doing here? We are comparing two sets of numbers. Now, what I want you to look at is we are learning to place the sign, sign. What is the sign? In comparing numbers, we use sign here, equal. You got, you got two friends, I have two friends. I have five marbles, you got five marbles, equal. Here, big, greater than, greater number. Now, look at this. This number is big. Nine is bigger than three. Now, the sign greater will always point towards the small number. Okay? Remember, the sign will always point toward the small number, telling if the open mouth of the bird here, it is nine. Always point toward the small number. The pointer or the beak of the bird. The beak, the bird has eaten nine and here three. So always remember the greater sign always points toward the small number. That's a great number. This number is great. So you have the big wide open. Okay. That's all you need to remember regarding the sign. Now in the case of less than, in the case of less than, let's look at it. We are learning to place signs in comparing the numbers. Okay. We are learning to place signs in comparing numbers. Now, what happens is this particular now here I have with me I have with me five bananas and I have five bananas with me and my neighbor bought 12 bananas for herself. Then my I have six friends and my friends have 21 friends. My friend bought, I have three story book and she has 11 story books. In my uh, classroom there are seven broken chairs and in my neighbor's class there are 17 broken chairs. Now in my house I have bought 3 kilos of apples, 13 kilos of apples and my neighbor has some visitors so they bought 21 kg apples. Now again here as I told you we are comparing numbers. We are looking at sign less than. Remember, the sign less always points towards the small number. When you say less than, less than 21, 6 is less than 21, 3 is less than small number. Whether you are writing greater or less, all you need to remember the big points toward the small number, whether it is less than or greater than. The greater number is swallowed by the bird's beak. Okay, so 7 is less than 17. 13 is less than 21. Now, supposing you have a bird. If I draw a bird's mouth, 
Now, here you have a bird here. Okay, now the bird, this particular bird, what happens is he, he has a nice big beak. Okay. Remember, the number that is big is been already swallowed by the bird. So, when you point, it points toward the small number. Whether it is greater or whether it is less, remember one thing. The beak of the bird, the wider the, the beak of the bird, it has already taken the number. So, when you write, when you say which is less, the 31, it is pointing toward the small number. When you say here, again, if you draw a bird, the bird is again pointing toward the small number, the smaller number. And that's what you need to remember. The bird's beak is already taken away. The big number swallowed the big number. So the beak always points toward the small number. Or if you remember that, that's enough. Okay. The beak of the bird always points toward the small number. The beak of the bird always points toward the small number. Now do you know how to identify? How to identify greater sign, less sign? Think of the bird. The bird always takes the big number and it always look at the small number. Again, the bird always taken the big number, point to it. Whether you are writing the greater sign or less sign, always remember the bird big. Now we are going to compare two numbers. So we are doing, going to do a short exercise. Fill in the boxes with the correct sign. What are the three signs we learned? Equal to, greater than, less than. Okay. So, the exercise what we are going to do is, fill in the boxes with the correct sign. Fill in the boxes with the Correct sign. That's what we are going to do. And what are those signs? Equal to greater than and less than. Okay, these are the Now I'll give you numbers. I'll put numbers so that you can think and fill in. Now, okay, now I'll put numbers at random and we will compare the numbers and see what sign goes in where. Okay? Okay, I have just done numbers at random. We are going to use the sign equal to greater than or less than in any of these boxes. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What is equal to when the numbers are same, same? Okay, now let's see here. We have 71 and we have 46. Remember the bird's beak. It always points towards the less number, the smaller number when we compare two numbers. And that's how we detect greater less. Now, here we have 71 and 46. Of the two, which is the big number, definitely it is 71 bigger than 46. So the sign here is 
remember the bird's beak always point toward the smaller number so 71 is greater than 46 excellent now here 28 28 same same equal to 28 is equal to 28 very good what the next number we have here 9 and we have 14 which is bigger of the two 14 so number 9 is less than 14 less than and what should we remember the beak of the bird points towards the small number so number 9 is less than 14 and here you have 83 38 which is the bigger of the two 83 83 is bigger than 38 and the birds beak points towards the small number 83 is bigger than 38 here you have 21 and 21 21 and 21 21 is equal to 21 excellent now we have 16 and 91 16 is small number 91 is big number so 16 is less than 91 remember the big sign less than 16 less than 91 less than 21 and 14 21 is greater than bigger than for 21 is greater than bigger than 14 and that's it here you have 52 and 52 number 52 is equal to 52 very good and here was 71 and 17 71 is a bigger number than 17 71 is greater bigger than 17 finally you have 9 and 13 definitely 9 is less than 13 so 9 is less all less numbers it point toward the less number 9 is less than 13 71 greater than 17 52 equal to 52 21 bigger greater than 14 16 less than 91 and 71 greater than 46 28 equal to 28 9 less than 14 83 bigger greater than 38 21 is equal to 21 we learn to do choose the correct sign okay equal to greater and this time in comparing the numbers